Welcome back to Simright Fashion Academy YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to sew this short classy booboo kaftan with V neckline and it has a side rush with drawstrings. So if this is what you want to learn in this class, I will encourage you to stay till the end of this tutorial. Thank you. So I'm using two yards of Ankara fabric remaining from my fabric. So these two yards of Ankara fabric right now, I'm going to place it into two equal parts. So I've already folded it into two equal parts and I have one one yard on each side. So the next thing I'm going to do is to fold it again, which is four times. So I folded it four times, as you can see right there. So now here is my center front and I'll begin to take my measurements. So I'm taking my neck measurement. The neck measurement is four inches for the back and the neck depth is one and a half inches for the back. So I'm going to connect the neckline for the back four by one and a half inches. And the neck depth I'm working with 8 inches and I'm going to connect the 8 inches depth to the 4 inches. So the depth of your neckline depends on how you want to expose that part. So I'm going to use my pattern ruler to curve into the 8 inches neck depth. So I just want to make it a little curvy, not really sharp V, just a little curvy with my pattern ruler. So this is what I have. So the next thing I want to do now is the length of my sleeve. So I'm using the whole Ankara for this. You can also make your sleeve a little bit shorter. That is cutting off maybe two inches from the whole length of the Ankara. So it's all by choice. But I'm using everything I have on the Ankara as my full length. So from that folded part, I'm going to come down by one and a half inches. That is my shoulder slant. One and a half inches. Then I'm going to connect the one and a half inches from the neckline into the one and a half inches with a slanted line. So after connecting that slanted line, I'm going to take my the measurement of my sleeve from the shoulder drop. So I'm using 13 inches from my sleeve opening. So I'll go in 13 inches and go in by 5 inches. So once you measure 13 inches, go in by 5 inches because this is actually a very big booboo. It's a short booboo and it's actually very big. So I'll just go in by 5 inches and draw a straight line down to the hem and curve into the 13 inches sleeve length. So now I want to cut off what I have. So this booboo is actually very simple to make. So I just cut out only the back neckline. Then I'm going to take away the back piece and then we'll cut the front piece. So this is what I have for the front piece. Okay, so I've cut out the front piece. So the next thing I want to do now is to prepare the facing. Of course, you know how to go about your facing. So I'll just place my fabric, as you can see, secure with my pins and cut off the neckline shape on the facing. So now I'm going to take the measurement of three and a half, three and a half, three and a half, all around. That is my facing width. The next is to place the facing and now stitch the facing at 0 0.5 inch. But make sure you secure with your pins before you stitch. So I'll go back to my machine right now and I'm going to stitch at half an inch. So after stitching, make sure you make notches. Very important, make notches to ease the V neckline. Then I'm going to flip all my seams to the facing and I'm going to top stitch accordingly. So this is what I got at the end of the day. So the front piece is very much ready. Now I'm going to create facing for the back piece too. So I'll also place my fabric for my facing for the back piece accordingly. So I'll just place it, making sure the folded part is at the center back area too. Secure with your pins and then go ahead to cut accordingly. So now I'll also take three and a half inches all around three and a half inches. So the front and the back facing is equal. 
So I'm going to place right side to right side and I'm going to pin the necklines and stitch at 0 0.5. After stitching, I also made my notches accordingly. So now I'm going to place right side to the right side. I'll hold it on this way and flip the facing this other way. And I'll stitch everything at half an inch, including the facing. So that is how I stitch my neckline. So I've given it a good press. You can see what the neckline is looking. So now the next we want to do is to sew a band. So the band width is five inches by width. And when unfold is two and a half inches. So I'm going to stitch this band and top stitch. So now I've stitched and I've top stitched the band on the sleeve. So after sewing the band on the sleeve, the next you are going to do is to make sure you hem the down part of this dress before we close the sides. So you can see I've hemmed the down part of it because we are going to have a drawstring. So you need to hem the down piece of it. So now I'm going to stitch half an inch and go in by one inch till I get to the end. So I'll go to my machine right now and stitch accordingly. So now this, these are my strings or my rope. I'm going to join them together because I have some pieces coming out from this other fabric I used. Okay, so I've made my ropes as you can see. So it can be as long as you wish. So these ropes, I've made them and I'm, I've also sewn the side of my dress. So I'm going to show you how to insert and stitch this rope accordingly. So I'm going to make a knot just below the arm. You can see just below the curve, like one inch below the curve, you make a little notch for the drawstring. And on the arm area, please put a notch to ease the arm area. So now I'm going to open up the seam allowance. The seam allowance is one one inch. So we are going to use that seam allowance. But before then, make sure you match this side to the other side and also make the same notch. So now, after that, we'll open up the seam allowances. So we are going to insert the rope under the seam allowance. So, but you have to tuck in half an inch, okay? So I'm going to tuck in the half an inch, as you can see on both sides, and stitch to hold the rope before I stitch the sides. So I want to demonstrate to you on the machine how I'm going to stitch that. So you have to open up your dress, open up the seam allowances. Then we are going to insert the row beneath the seam allowances. So I have two ropes for each side. So I'm going to place one rope under from the part I notched. So I place one rope under like this. You can see how I'm doing that. I'll place it under like this. Then I'll make sure I have the, the rope come out a little bit at that point. So I'm going to fold in half an inch. So I'm going to also do the same because I want to top stitch on that part now. So I'm going to also do the same. Insert my rope and then fold in half an inch as well. So right now I'm going to top stitch to hold down the two ropes. Then I'm going to sew, tuck in half an inch and sew the sides. So when you are sewing, please don't on the rope, okay? So you have to be mindful of your stitching. Make sure you stitch only on the folded half an inch until you get to the end. So once we get to the end on one side, we will also go over to the other side and stitch the rope on the other side. So I'm just taking my time to show you how this rope can be stitched. So I'll keep folding in half an inch like that and top stitching on top of it. So after stitching on this side, I'm going to also go over the other way. So I'll also fold in the half an inch as you can see, and I'm going to stitch half an inch like that, like that, till we get to the end. So that is how we come to the end of this tutorial. So if you want this uh, short classy bubu to be a little bit long, you can use two and a half inches for that. But for me, I use just two, two yards. I mean two and a half yards.
So two yards is actually very very short. If you are on a tall size side, you can use two and a half yards. So that is how to go about the drawstring. So the next thing is to draw the sides as you wish. So I'll just draw a little. I'm not drawing too much because the dress is already short. So I'll just draw a little. So you can actually use this for your trousers. You can also use it for any other thing. So if you have watched up, up till this moment, what are you waiting for? Why not subscribe to this channel? Turn on your notification bell to receive more videos like this. Like this video, share to family and friends, and drop your comments on the comment section and your suggestions as well. So that is how to go about this beautiful, classy, short bubu kaftan. And stay tuned for the next tutorial. Thank you.